Hello everyone, this is Dr. Gallenstein, and this video is going to be a short Stata tutorial video. In the video, I hope to simply open up Stata and just kind of go through um, a couple of different commands and just how to work with the software. Throughout the course, we are going to have um, a lot of opportunities to be using Stata. We'll be using Stata in over almost every lecture and in almost every class period. And so you'll become very familiar with the software. This tutorial is basically intended to help you get started. Okay. So if you've installed Stata, then you should have it on your computer. And so you should just go and open it up and we'll have our first window and we'll kind of dive right in. So this is the main Stata window. I'll kind of talk about all the different parts. This main window right here in the middle, this is your, uh, your output window. Basically what happens in this window is that whenever you run a command, it will show you the command that you ran and it will show you the outcome of that command. It, your results from maybe running a regression or your results from doing some descriptive statistics will all um, be displayed right here in the central main window. Right below it, you'll see what's called command. It's a command window. This is where you might type some commands uh, to communicate to Stata what you want it to do. I don't use this command window very often, so I'll probably just, I usually kind of keep it small. Over here, it will show you the list of all the commands that you've run. So let's say you ran a command and you want to run it again. You could come over here and click on the command that you ran in the past. Again, I don't use this one very often, so I usually keep it kind of small. Over here, now this one's really important, this space over here shows you all the variables that you have in your data set. It gives you the name of the variable and the label. The label being um, just information about what the variable is. Usually the variable name uh, can be kind of cryptic. It's a, usually just a, a short word um, and it might not be obvious what that variable is. And so the label uh, communicates to whoever's using the data set what that variable is. I'll show you more about that in a minute. Now you'll see here that it says there are no items to show. That's because we haven't imported or we haven't opened any data into Stata. So right now, the Stata software is open, but we haven't given Stata any data to use. And so when we look over here, there are no variables to be listed because we haven't imported any data. So let's go ahead and do that. If I want to import data, if I want to bring data from my computer into Stata, what I would do is come up here to this icon and it says open. What this allow me to do, I'll just click it and it will give me um, an interface. It'll give me my browser and I'll go and I'll find wherever I've saved the data set that I want to use. We'll see in the first several lectures that I'm going to use a data set called wages. So I'm going to use that for the tutorial as well. So I'll click on Wages and click Open. Now that I've done that, now Stata has a data set that it can use. It has a, state, it has a data set inside. We can know that for sure by looking over here at the variables. Before it said there was nothing that could be listed. But now that we've imported the data, now there's a data set. And it, and these are the variables that are in that data set. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six variables in the data set. We don't have any labels, so it's not obvious what all of these are, although I can tell you what they are. Wage means wage, or it's an hourly wage. So this is data on individual wages. It's how much money they make per hour. Okay. We also have information on the individual's education, so EDUC means education. Expert, that's data on experience. Non-white, that's a data for uh, race or ethnicity. Female is a data, uh, is, is a variable that indicates gender. And married is a variable that indicates whether or not a person is married. Okay. 
So now, let's say we want to look at the data. I said that it's in here, the variables are here, they're listed here, but I want to actually look at the data. If I want to look at the data, and I like to do that often, is I come up here and I click this icon. It says Data Editor, parentheses, Browse. So let's click on that. When we click on it, it opens up our data set. Now this is a separate window. I can have it small if I want. I could have it over to the side if I wanted it. Um, but for right now, let's just take a look at what it looks like and look at it full screen. This window shows my data set. Here are my six variables. So each column is a variable. Each row is a particular observation for that variable. So for example, this person makes $3.10 an hour and has 11 years of education, two years of experience. This person is white, female, and not married. Okay, let's see how many observations do we have in the data set. Let's scroll down and see. We have 526. All right, so this just allows us to view our data. We don't need to view our data right now, so let's go ahead and close it. Okay, so now we're back here again. Now, let's say I wanted to do something with my data. I wanted to uh, make some edits to my data, or I wanted to conduct some analysis. If I wanted to do that, I need to uh, communicate those commands, whatever I want Stata to do, I need to communicate them. And the way that I do that is through what's called a do file. So I'll open up a do file. That's this icon here. It says new do file editor. I'm going to open that up. Again, we're going to get another window. This window is the window that uh, into which I put the commands that I want to tell Stata to perform. Okay. Now, my preferred way of working with Stata is to take the main window, put it off to one side, and then use my do file on the other side. Okay, this just allows me to see everything all at once. And so I, I, this is my preferred way of doing it. I like to create a lot of open space here so that I can see my window. Okay, so here's my do file. I will, what I will do in my do file is I will write code. Um, the code will communicate to Stata the commands that I want it to perform. So let's, let's just get started in our do file. Let's do a couple of different commands just to get familiar with how to uh, work with Stata and how to execu execute a command in Stata. So first, you know, I mentioned that with our data set that it doesn't have any labels. That means if, if someone opened this data set and they didn't have anyone to tell them what, those, what, what these names mean, they might be confused about some of, them, some of them. For example, EDUC. Someone might be confused. Well, what is EDUC? And if there's not someone there to tell them what it is, they'd be confused. So let's add some labels. All the labels are is just uh, telling the, the reader of the data what the data is. So let's just do that. And this will be a good illustration of what of how to run commands. So here's our do file. And I'm just going to show you the command for label. Here's the command for label. You can see, you might be able to see, that it has a, a faint blue tint to it. Um, a command will always come through in, in kind of a faint blue color. And then this is just so happens to be how we, how we code this. So I'm going to label the variable wage. And it's going to be hourly wages. And this, I can write this however I want. I'm just kind of, I'm just telling the reader um, what, the what the variable is. Let's say it's hourly wages measured in dollars. Okay. Now, I want to run this code. You'll notice that just by writing it, nothing happens. What I need to do to run the code is to highlight the code that I want to run and then come up here and click this icon. This is the execute selection button. So I'll hit that and what and now things change. Now what it, the output window shows you that you ran the command label variable wage. Okay. And if you look over here, you can now see that there's a label on the variable wage. 
So before we had just the name, it was called wage. Now we have the label, whoops, which tells you what this variable is. It is hourly wages measured in dollars. Now this doesn't change the data set at all. I can open it up and I can see that, okay, nothing has changed. But there's just a label on it. Right, so I can look at wage, and maybe before I didn't know what well, what's 3.1 mean. It says wage, okay, 3.1 what? And there's no really good way of telling unless there's a label. Ah, hourly wages measured in dollars. Okay, there we go. So that's three dollars and ten cents an hour. All right, so let's close that. Let's go ahead and add la labels to all of them. I'll use this data this data set again. So it might be nice to have some labels. So let's add some more. This one is education, measured in years. All right. The next one is label variable expert. That is experience, measured in years. The next one is variable non-white. See, this is equals one if the person is not white equals zero if white. Okay, label variable female. This is equals one if female equals zero if, if male. And then finally, label variable married equals one if married equals zero if not married. Okay. Notice again, if I don't if I don't select and execute the commands, nothing happens. But if I select them and I hit execute, all of them run. Oh. Okay. We have an error. I'm going to have to correct the error. But now first, before I correct the error, let's take a look. I ran these and what happened? It added the labels. So now the labels are on all these variables. But if you look here, we have an error an error message which just says variable marrier not found. Ah, there is a typo. Let's come over here. Label variable marrier. Ah, I mistyped married. Now I can click that instead. There we go. It ran it and now it's added the label to my variable. Okay, so there we go. We've just labeled all of our variables. And we've done a nice illustration of how to write and execute commands in Stata. Now, one thing I like to do with my Stata do file is I like to keep some notes in it. One nice thing about do files is that if you type an asterisk, you first of all, the, the text will turn green. And basically what you're telling Stata is that whatever comes after the asterisk is not a command. It's just your own notes. So I'm going to give this tutorial, I'm going to give this a title, and then I'm going to label what I'm doing, or just, just give some notes to myself. Labeling the data, or let's see, labeling the variables. Okay. Okay, at this stage, We've done some commands, we've opened our do file, we've shown how we can keep notes or keep track of things in our do file using the asterisks. Um, we've made some edits to our data, we've added these labels. Now I want to save the data set. And I want to save the data set because when I use it in the future, or when you use it, if I assign it, it'll have labels on it and we will know uh, what the variables are. So I'm going to come over here and if I want to save the data, that means save the changes that I've made to it, I'll just click Save. Now it doesn't let me just save, it says does it want to replace the existing file. Basically it just has a, a, a warning mechanism. If you don't want to um, save over your original data set, you would say no. But I do. All I've done since I opened the original file was added labels, and now I want to keep those labels in the data. So I'm going to click yes. Okay, so there is a Stata tutorial. You'll see a lot more as we go through the course. Um, I'll just go ahead and close up now. We've already saved our data set. We can come over here. I think I'll go ahead and save my do file, and I am going to call it Stata tutorial.
All right, I had another file called state of tutorial, so I'm just going to replace it. And there we go. I can close this, and I can close this, and we are all done. Okay, so I hope that was helpful to just get you started on using Stata. Let me know if you have any questions, or if there's any specific things you'd like me to address, and I can address it in person, or I can create another tutorial video. All right, have a great day.